accounting and, and we look to optimize our net income, that we also go back and manage our cash flows because it is important for us to make sure that we are managing cash in such a way that we have enough cash to be able to cover our payments. However, we want to have a minimum steady cash level at the same time. In other words, it's not efficient, of course, to have a lot of cash for, uh, for a business. The objective of the business is to earn revenue, not to have a lot of cash at any given time. If we have a lot of cash at any given time, that means that we have purchasing power we, that we're not putting and using effectively. We're just, we're just holding on to it. So what we want to do is have that minimum level of cash that we need in order to go after opportunities that will happen. Uh, but at the same time, uh, we want to have enough cash to be able to make payments. So if we have too much cash, then we're not being optimal with uh, the, our purchasing power. And if we don't have enough cash, of course, then we're not going to be able to pay our bills. If we don't have a, a minimum amount of cash, a level that is relevant, then we're not going to be able to really go after those opportunities that may arise uh, and, and need a little bit more cash at any given time. Managing cash. So how are we going to achieve these goals of the cash management? Well, one, we want to have collection of receivables, meaning we want to do what we can in order for the, the cash to be collected sooner. We would like to have the cash sooner rather than later. This, I mean, can seem like not a big deal when you're talking about, uh, you know, a few days or a month, but businesses will spend a lot uh, of time to try to get that money a little bit earlier. If, if you can get the money a little bit earlier, it could be worth a lot. One, because of the time value of money, and two, just to make sure that you are keeping up with your cash flows, having the cash on hand, ready for opportunities. You want to be able to delay payments of liabilities. Again, it seems it could get to the point of seeming trivial on, on how uh, you delay the payments for a couple days or something like that. But any kind of delay of payment that you can have uh, is going to be beneficial to the business. You want to be able to uh, delay the payments and that will increase the amount of cash on hand at any given time. Assets are steady, uh, assets at a steady necessary level. Uh, once again, you, you don't really, our goal isn't to compile assets. If we, if we make a lot of money, if the business is doing really well and we don't want to put the money back into the business, there's no growth opportunity that we see at any given time, then we probably would give that money to the owners of the business, whether they be stockholders or individuals, if it's a sole proprietor or a company, in order for the owners to then take that money and they don't want to hold on to it either they want to invest it you want to be making money on the money if the if there's no business opportunity within the business to be making money to grow the business then we should distribute that money to the owners so that they can uh, make their own investments and make money with it plan and budget expenditures uh, so we want to make sure that we have the plan we have a budget uh, in place in order to know what those expenditures will be that'll help us to know what what cash level we need to have at any given time and have help us to have that steady level of assets that we will want to have over time if we know what those expenditures are or have an idea of what they are in advance invest when there is excess cash now when we have again when we have excess cash we don't want to just hold on to the cash because we're not making any interest on it we want to invest it and we could you know invest it back into the company if there's growth opportunities or we want to invest it in something that we're making money on, like a CD or something that we make a financial investment and get a return on, meaning we're trading the purchasing power at any given time. We can't use it in order for a greater return. Or we want to give it to the owners so that they can make their own personal investments, whether they be uh, the stockholders or they be uh, the owner of the company.